In this video, we'll be talking about Schwann cells, which are one type of glial cells found in the peripheral nervous system of vertebrates. These Schwann cells are really important for myelination of peripheral nervous system axons. They were first named based on Theodore Schwann, who described the Schwann cells in 19th century. So the key function of the Schwann cell is to myelinate the axons and thereby creating an insulation for these nerve fibers, which would help in the nerve conduction. So this kind of insulation facilitates the rapid transmission of neuronal impulse. In myelinating nerve fibers, the myelin sheath is not continuous, but it is interrupted in small nodes known as nodes of Ranvier. So due to these nodes of Ranvier, the action potential can literally jump from one node to another node. And this kind of mode of transmission is known as saltatory transmission of action potential, which further accelerates the uh, nerve conduction. And this is only possible thanks to the Schwann cells. Now let's talk about some other functions of the Schwann cells as well. So Schwann cells help in nerve regeneration, nutrient transport and phagocytosis. So in context of nerve regeneration, it's important to note that when there is an injury in the peripheral nervous system, Schwann cells play key role and they de-differentiate and help in the process of uh, neural regeneration. When it comes to nutrient transport, they help in transport of several nutrients and provide them to the neurons. They can also have phagocytotic role, which might help in cleanup of the damaged portion of the neuron and they might help to repair the overall process of regeneration. So let's look at the regeneration of new peripheral nervous system neuron and how Schwann cell is important for that. So Schwann cell can possibly do many things when, it, when there is a neuronal injury. So here is a neuronal injury. So the distal part of the neuronal injury would eventually be degraded and would eventually be cleared by the macrophages. Later on, the Schwann cells would take important role in terms of guiding the process. So here we can see there are de-differentiated Schwann cells which align in a specific band-like fashion known as bands of Bungnar and this particular this particular structure forms a passageway where the axonal sprouts can grow and regenerate the neuron again. So this is how Schwann cells help in nervous regeneration. So let's talk about the Schwann cell uh, development. So the Schwann cells are actually developed from the neural crest cells. So these Schwann cells uh, have different stage of their maturation. One stage is known as the immature uh, Schwann cell progenitor. Then there is immature Schwann cell and eventually they form the mature Schwann cells. So initially there are interactions with the axons loosely, then there is strong interaction with the basal lamina and Schwann cell starts wrapping around the axon and thereby they get matured. So each of these stages of the Schwann cell can be discriminated by, via specific molecular markers. Now when it comes to disease, Schwann cells are really important. But before that, let us talk about and compare the Schwann cells with oligodendrocytes. Oligodendrocytes are also glial subtypes which are helping in myelination in the central nervous system. It's important to note Schwann cells are present in peripheral nervous system and not in the central nervous system. So Schwann cells can, one Schwann cell can contact only a single axon, whereas oligodendrocyte, one particular oligodendrocyte can contact several axon and myelinate them. Also, their origin is different. Schwann cell is neural crest derivative, whereas oligodendrocytes are generated from common neuronal progenitors. Now, let's talk about Schwann cells from a context of Guillain Barre syndrome. This is an acute, rapidly progressive, demyelinative autoimmune disorder of the peripheral nerves. Here, the peripheral nerves are affected due to one antibody known as GM1 gangliocyte autoantibody. So, immune system mistakenly recognize the Schwann cell proteins and produce autoantibodies against them, which eventually damage these Schwann cells and the myelination. 
so obviously that lead to neuropathies so initially this particular damage lead to weakness numbness tingling and all the sensation starts from the leg and uh, goes up towards the upper part of the body so this is reflected in the electromyography recordings so there is a decrease in nerve conduction velocity why because the schwann cells are affected the insulation is now faulty so the conduction of the nerve is slower apart from gullian barre syndrome there is other syndrome known as charcot marie tooth disease or cmt in this case also there is there is a damage in the schwann cell due to a mutation so these are inherited peripheral neuropathies where the mutation most of the cases the mutation happens in pmp22 gene present on chromosome 17 this particular gene product help in formation of the myelin so it's a component of myelin so when it is mutated the overall myelin sheath is damaged this lead to plethora of syndromes in, uh, symptoms including muscle pain cold feet especially the characteristic curled feet atrophy of the muscles and curled fingers so that brings out the importance of schwann cells in various contexts so this is a quick summary about the schwann cells and its function so i hope this video was useful if you like this video give it a quick thumbs up don't forget to like share and subscribe get notes and flash cards in our facebook page and our instagram page links are provided in the description you can support our channel using super thanks you can pay via paypal paytm or upi see you in next video